So would you like to add a Facebook pixel directly into the Shopify store? This one should be allowing you to get started optimizing your campaigns and ultimately improve your return on into investment. To get started, I'm going to be showing you how to do this in a very easy way. First of all, you want to have a Facebook business account manager. So you're going to open any tab. Inside here, what you can do is to go for Meta Business Suite. Now the Meta Business Suite can be helping you to manage the ads across Facebook and Instagram in a very easy way using the Meta Business Suite. So we need to have an actual Facebook page and an Instagram account in order to run ads. So once we get started here in the Meta Business Suite, we're going to be doing here is to go for Get Started. Now here to Get Started is going to be a really easy step-by-step uh, -step section. So here into this left part, we can see that we have the business portfolio. Inside the business portfolio, what I can do is to create a new business portfolio or create a new business asset. So here I'm going to focus now inside my Meta Business Suite. And first of all, I'm going to create an actual new page for my store. Once you have generated your new page into Facebook, now what we can do is to get started in creating our very first pixel. So for that, I wanted to make sure that I have an ad account in order to run a pixel. In this case, we have no ad account founded. So I click here into ad account and I go for ad. So what you can do is to create a new ad account. In this case, this one just won't let us because we have a lot of ad accounts here allowed for a new business portfolio. So what I need to do now is to uh, make sure that I have the availability to create a Facebook pixel now that I have uh, access to the ad account. So inside here, go for settings. Inside settings, go and look out for data sources. Inside data sources, you can focus here into pixels. And here into pixels, what you can do is to get started and add a new pixel added into your store. So you're gonna go for view the data sets. And basically everything should be now focused and added automatically into my meta business suit. So to make sure this has been linked directly into my Shopify, I wanted to implement the pixel ID directly into Shopify. So what I can do now is to go back into Shopify. Let's go here inside Shopify. I'm gonna close this and focus into my dashboard. Directly into your dashboard, focus into the left path that says sales channel. Inside sales channel, type the word meta. Into meta, we have the Facebook and Instagram free plan available. So make sure this one is totally for free and that this one is developer by Shopify. So you don't have to pay extra for that. So now that you are directly inside the uh, Shopify app store, I'm gonna hit now into install. I'm going to close this and I wanted to follow the prompts to install my actual account and into sign in. Now, in order to make sure that everything has now been correctly added from Meta into your Shopify, what you need to do is to make sure that you have using the same account inside your Shopify store. So I'm going to hit now into install. I follow the prompts and I focus into get started and connect my account. So usually it's going to be asking me to sign into the Facebook account that I'm currently using. So that's really important that you have your Facebook account logged it in. I go for continue. And as you can see, following the prompts is not that hard. So inside setting up our shop directly here into Facebook and Instagram, it's going to be telling us our business assets. So my asset has now been added here. So I choose my Facebook page. Here is my data shot. I usually use the in haste. And here, what you can do is to connect the meta pixel that you have created here into your business setting. If you don't do this process, if you haven't done this process, you don't have to worry about that. What you can do is now to close this meta business section and create a meta pixel here directly from Shopify. So choose the option that says create. And as you can see here, the actual submission should be added automatically. So I go for confirm. I agree to the terms and conditions and I submit for review. My store should now be submitted for the review and I am ready now to use my Shopify directly with the pixel installation. Now to verify it actually works well, what you could do is to install the Facebook Pixel Helper Chrome extension. So to add this, what you can do is to go for Chrome extensions. Of course, you can choose the extensions that your browser currently have and you can go for Opera, you can go for Brave, whatever. And here I'm going to open this section. I'm going to go for Facebook Pixel Helper. And I choose the Meta Pixel Helper, which in this case here it is. So I enable this element and I add this directly into Chrome. 
So once I have added this Metapixel helper go for add the extension, and you want to make sure that your Shopify store um, has now been set it up correctly. So as you can see here is add Metapixel helper to Chrome. Focus into your new data sources. Here is the pixel that we have just created a few minutes ago. And as you can see here is Shopify by Facebook. So what I can do now is to go directly in the so if I open my website, I should see now that here, my Metapixel helper should find an actual pixel. In this case, this haven't been added yet. But if I disable my AD block of my store, you should see now that the Metapixel has now been enabled into my store and the page view is actually working. So as you can see, it's a very really easy way of how we can add a pixel directly into Shopify. So guys, with that being said, you can now reach the very end of the video. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools how we can get started adding much more elements directly into Shopify. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.